Hey everyone, it's Budget Bunny and I'm back today with another Bark Box opening. So in case you're not familiar with BarkBox, it is a monthly subscription box geared towards dogs and there are different levels and customization options that you can do for this box. So because we have two dogs, I opted for the extra toy club. So every month they get their regular bark box, but with an additional toy included inside. If you're interested in ordering bark box for your pup, I do have a referral link that's down below in the description box for you. If you use that referral link, you'll get your first box free. Each month has its own super creative, amazing theme. They just go above and beyond Every little detail is about that theme, including the names of the treats, which I just think is amazing. And they do offer different subscriptions based on the size of your dog and whether your dog is a real chewer or not. All of the treats are corn, wheat, and soy free, I believe, but their customer service is also amazing. And our past dog, Murray, had severe allergies to a lot of different things. So when I first signed them up, I just let them know of the things that I didn't want in any of the treats that were sent to us, and they made sure that happened every month, which has been amazing. Just in case we, I haven't mentioned it, we have been BarkBox members for the last two years now. That is how much I love the subscription service. So this is my first time seeing what's inside too. I don't know what to expect, although I do expect because this box is from October to be some kind of Halloween theme. So let's check it out. Okay. <laughs> Return of the Franken toys. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. The dogs go nuts for these boxes, by the way. Sometimes I don't open them. Uh, right away. I've been kind of squirreling a few away so that they have more to open at Christmas or sometimes I'll hold on to them if their toy if I feel that they have enough toys on the go although That's not really an issue anymore with Zara here because she's so playful Toys tend to circulate through our house a little bit faster nowadays so the girls totally recognize the boxes now and a couple months ago I guess the little mailboxes that usually gets delivered to that's in our neighborhood were all full. So our postal lady was kind enough to bring ours to the door and the girls just went nuts when they saw what box it was. <laughs> so yeah, I have to hide them otherwise they'll be ripping into them because they, they know what of our box is now. Okay, so we will start with the insert says, Return of the Franken Toys. Toys from BarkBox past have crawled back from under the couch, reassembled as monsters, and all it takes is your mad scientist dog to bring them to life. Fetch, squeak, and rustle these creeps and rearrange them to make your own. Okay, so... I think one of the dogs... I accidentally just squeaked one of the toys one of the dogs went flying past. I had to put a baby gate up so that I could get through this before we show them what their box consists of. Are you waiting for your bark box, baby? I know. This is the whole insert that it came with. These are the goggles. Now, I could probably get these on Genevieve. We will see how that goes. Zara will just pull them off and eat them. Um, <laughs> And as for the toys, so we have <laughs> Torso of Terror. Add any one top half toy and any one bottom half toy to the torso to make the biggest, baddest monster of all. It's alive! So this one says it's crinkly and has a disc squeaker in it. Oh, that's so cool. So each one, they've got the Velcro. So you can literally build your toy. Sweet. Okay. Tear that hair. Stupendous feature. Nocturnal Nate. So we have this really cute little raccoon. 
Aw, oh, Squeakers Galore Stupendous Feature Aromatic Archie. So we have this little skunk. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay, so <laughs> this is Frank and Flossie. This is one of those combine your toys to make an original monster. Um, this looks like a little duck. It's got a piece of wing. <laughs> And then there's like this rat with four legs. Now this is attached right now, but when I give it to the dogs, I'll obviously take off all these little tags. And then I guess we could make like a duck torso with the freaky legs. I don't know if that's really fun. <laughs> and the last one here is the same type of thing. This is like a fish. And then this part is again Velcro. Um, and the bottom looks like little ballerina legs. How freaky is that? I don't know. These toys, every single month is so creative. It's so cool. Like we've had ocean themes and Viking themes and monster themes. The Christmas theme was so cool. It had this like little letter that squeaked and then, um, but they could actually, when they got into it, pull out the letter and the whole letter was printed onto the material and it was all dog themed. It was really cool. Are you waiting for your bark box? So now that we've taken a look at all the toys, I'm gonna cut off the tags here and we'll go see how the dogs like them. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing video. If you're interested in ordering Barkbox for your pup, which I highly recommend you do, I do have a referral link that's down below in the description box for you. If you use that referral link, you'll get your first box free. Thanks for watching! Bye!